All right, now we have been discussing about all the good things that happened on the One UI 6.1 for the Galaxy S23 series. All the new features that we've got, the AI features, the non-AI features, everything we have discussed already on the channel in a couple of my previous videos. If you have missed those videos, I will link them up in the description. Now, in this video, what we're gonna discuss about is the bad things that happened on the S23 series. What I mean to say is the features that are missing on One UI 6.1 for the Galaxy S23 series. Yes, there are a couple of important features which Samsung did not release for the Galaxy S23 series which are available on the S24 series and apparently this is due to the hardware limitation but I don't think so for some reason because when the phone can get all the AI features and most of the other major features why can't they get a couple of features which are pretty simple. You can let me know your thoughts about that in the comment section. Now, let's go ahead and check out the features which are missing on the S23 series. Now, this is the S23 Ultra that I've got on the right, and this is the Galaxy S24 Ultra. Now, if you're interested in these two beautiful looking wallpapers, you can download them. I have linked them in the description. Uh, every video that I post will have a brand new wallpaper, so go ahead, check them out and download them. Now, let's go ahead. The first feature I'm discussing is the photo ambient wallpaper. Now, when I press and hold on the home screen and select wallpaper and style on the Galaxy S24 Ultra uh, and tap on change wallpapers, you see under creative, we've got two different options. One is generative wallpaper. The other one is photo ambient wallpaper. Now, let me do the same thing on the Galaxy S23 Ultra. Let me press and hold on the home screen, tap on wallpaper and style, change wallpapers. Uh, here, under creative, I only have generative wallpaper option. Now, this is great. Uh, the AI can generate the wallpapers depending on our preferences or depending on some of the presets. But you see, we don't have photo ambient wallpaper on the S23 series. Now, this feature also integrates AI into it. And we can enable this feature on the S24 series by going to settings, tapping on advanced features and tap on labs. Here you will see photo ambient wallpaper. You can tap on this to enable photo ambient wallpaper. However, on the Galaxy S23 series, when I go to settings and go to the advanced features and tap on labs, you see we don't have that option at all over here. Photo ambient wallpaper is not available on the S23 series. Now let me quickly tell you about this feature. Let me press and hold on the home screen and set a wallpaper here. Now let me select photo ambient wallpaper and select this wallpaper here. And we have this I button here, I'll tap on this. It says, this lapse feature changes your photo based on the weather and time of day. Not every weather condition is shown and time of the day changes may take a while to start showing while your photo is analyzed. So basically you'll be able to see the weather effects on the lock screen wallpaper, which is fantastic. This is a brilliant feature, which is not available on the S23 series. Now let me show you how this looks. Let me tap on this play button here. You see the AI logo here, AI is working on this. And if your weather condition is rainy, then this is how it looks. And if it is snowing, this is the effect that you get. So these effects will be available when you set photo ambient wallpaper. Now the next feature which is missing is with regard to the always on display. We don't have full screen wallpaper always on display for the Galaxy S23 series. Let me show you that on the Galaxy S24 series. You see when I go to the settings and go to the lock screen settings, we have got AOD here. I'll tap on this. Now, this is where you will see show lock screen wallpaper option. When you enable this, you see we get to see the wallpaper, the lock screen wallpaper as always on display background. Now, though this feature is great, it is going to consume some batteries. So not many of us prefer this feature. However, I just wanted to point out and tell you guys what is missing on the S23 series. When we go to the settings here and go to the uh, lock screen and AOD and tap on always on display, you see when I enable this, we don't have show lock screen wallpaper option here, which is a bummer. Now, if you're someone who is looking for this feature, then you may not be happy with it, but I would say this feature is not really necessary. Uh, I don't even turn on the always on display on the Galaxy phones, but if you're someone who like it, then you may be missing out on this feature on the S23 series. Now, apart from this, we also don't have the uh, brightness bar for the always on display on both the Galaxy S23 and S24 series. Samsung has removed that as well. I wish they could add this feature soon. Let's wait for the next update and see if these issues are fixed. Now, these are the two major features which are missing on the S23 series. Apart from this, there are a couple of issues. One is hiding the navigation gesture bar. You see the gesture bar I've set here. Now, uh, this cannot be hidden on the One UI 6.1 because there is no setting to hide this particular bar on the 6.1. However, we can do that through the good lock module called NAV star. However, at the moment, I haven't received the latest version of NAV star for the S23 series. Once we get it, we will be able to uh, remove this navigation gesture bar from the bottom here. Let me tell you what I'm talking about. Let's go to the settings here on both the phones. 
I will tap, I will search for the uh, navigation buttons, navigation bar here. Now let me open navigation bar settings and tap on more options. Now you see here we have got this option called gesture hint which can be disabled. Uh, it's a show where to swipe up uh, for navigation gestures. Uh, you can also swipe left or right across the hints to switch between apps. Now here you see I've got the navigation bar and when I disable this uh, toggle, the navigation bar disappears. The navigation bar is not available at the bottom. This will also increase the content area on the screen. Now let me go back here. I will enable this. You see we got the uh, gesture navigation bar here. However, on the uh, S23 series, we don't have this option at all. Now by default on the S24 series also, this is not available. Now let me go to the uh, GoodLock application here and open NAV star here. And I'll also do the same thing here on the Galaxy S23 series. I will open good lock, open NAV star here. Now you see uh, it's a different version of NAV star we have got on the S23 series. Whereas on the S24 series, we have the, we have the updated version. We've got this option, enable extra gesture settings. Turning this option on will enable the swipe from bottom gesture and gesture hint settings in the navigation bar settings. Now this option is not available on the S23 series. When I disable this option, you see when I go back to the settings, you will not see all those additional settings under more option. And this would look the same as the S23 uh, series. You see, this is the same, but with the latest NAV star, you get this option, enable extra gesture option. When you enable this, you see, we get a different menu altogether here and we also get gesture hint settings. So you'll have to wait for the latest version of the NAV star on the S23 series. And if you don't have patience to wait, you can go ahead and download the latest APK from APK Mirror to get all these options for the S23 series. The other issue which has been fixed on the S23 series is the uh, battery statistics uh, since full charge. Let me go to the settings here and go to uh, battery settings. Now here you see on the S24 Ultra, I only see today option and uh, this is the battery statistics from 12 a.m. to 12 p.m. battery usage statistics. Whereas on the S23 series, Samsung has uh, released the latest version of device care by default on the One UI 6.1. You see this option today and since last charge, both options are available on the S23 series. And in some regions, even the S24 Ultra has got the brand new update for the device care, which fixes this issue. And you get to see both these today and since last charge option on the S24 series as well. However, in my region, this update has not arrived yet. Whereas on the S23 series, you can select either since last charge or for the entire day that you can select. Uh, selecting since last charge is very convenient to measure the screen on time. And uh, we have been crying for this uh, option on the, S on the One UI 6.1 and Samsung has finally fixed it. And the fix is coming for all the devices which do not have this option. So uh, uh, just keep waiting for it. You will get a fix. You will get an update for the device care option. Now these are certain things which I wanted to discuss with you guys. Let me know if you're facing any other issues. Yes, I hear you. Uh, you need to know uh, the battery test results on the Galaxy S23 Ultra. I will test it and share the results very, very soon. I definitely need a few more days to do that. So stay tuned for that video. And uh, if you are facing any issues with the S23 series or the S24 series, drop a comment. We can discuss in the comment section. And also let me know how is your device performing, whether you own the Galaxy S23 series or the S24 series, whichever phone you own. Let me know and let me know the performance after the One UI 6.1 update. That's all I want to share with you guys. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, go ahead, uh, become a part of Apex community. We are inching closer to 100K. We just need another 3000 people to subscribe. So go ahead with your support. This is possible. Subscribe to the channel and give this video a like if you find this video informational. Thanks for watching. My name is Salyan signing off. Cheers. Bye-bye.